กักตัวไม่มีเหงาถ้าเราพกฟิลล่าสนใจติดต่อสั่งซื้อได้ที่0906958899หรือทุกช่องทางออนไลน์ของฟิลล่าได้แล้ววันนี้ Alright, let's get this party started. Our first fight tonight is the first semi-final of the 62 k g tournament championship. เอาละครับและตอนนี้เรามาเปิดศึกษาเวียนความมันด้วยรอบรองชนะเลิศในคู่ที่หนึ่งกันเลยดีกว่าครับรูปิกกับน้ำหนัก62กิโลกรัมในหมู่น้ำเงินคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดสมุทรปราการสังกัดคายซัดปรีดาเจียมเจ้าของฉายาจอมเตะ2แผ่นดินครับ Introducing our first challenger, fighting out of the blue corner tonight, representing s u b u t p r a k a n Province. He training out of s a t p r i d a j i m He holds a professional record of 60 fights and 41 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome s h u d a b e t s a t p r i d a Fighting out of the blue corner, representing s u b u t p r a k a n Province. Let's hear for s h u d a b e t s a p r i d a และนายชกในมุมแดงครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดร้อยเอ็ดสังกัดค่ายสิทธิ์สั่งปราบเจียมเจ้าของฉายาขุดสอกผีผวาครับ And his opponent in the red corner, representing l i o n Province, fighting out of s i t h s a n g p r a b j i m We p r o f e s s i o n a l records of 49 fights and 34 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bang Thai s i t h s a n g p r a b Welcome everybody to the Max Muay Thai Stadium in Pattaya, where we all set for our Saturday night feature, the highlight of my week, the highlight of my co-commentator's week. I know I don't have to ask that, especially when he uh, his last couple of weeks where some weird things happened. That astrally or in the metaphysic universe, where he's actually got his prediction right. Five weeks. Four, it's not five weeks. Stop it. Anyway. Our first semi. How the format for, works for the champion show? It's a four-man tournament, four Thai fighters. 50,000 baht awaits the winner. The first two fights on tonight's card are the semi-final fights, and in fight number seven, sees the two semi-final winners face off for the 50,000 baht prize. The runner-up gets 30,000. Our first semi-final in the ring now. In the blue corner, we have t a t a p e t s a p p r i d a His real name, Julio Suti Pong j e r e n s a p What? When you said his real name, you oh you, good god, <laughs> stop it! <laughs> He's from Samit Samit Samut Prakan. Even sorry, apologies for the getting tongue tied already. Samut Prakan, just to the southeast of Bangkok, 15 years of age, 166 centimeters tall. He's had 60 fights, 41 wins, three draws, 16 losses. His last four fights at max, a points win of a Sinin Singnum Patana. A points win of a Kong Kang Wan Saw t e p Star. A points loss to n a r o n g c h a i War Division 11, who incidentally is in the second semi-final, and a points loss to Petsit Monchai. Trains and fights at a Saprida Gym in Samut Prakam, where he's trained by Kidigo Laksap and managed by Pansak Premprida. His opponent in the red corner, Bang Thai. s i t s a n g p r a t His real name: k o n p r a s e r d p i s u a n Comes from Roye in northeast of Thailand. He's 18 years of age, 166 centimeters tall. He's had 49 fights, 34 wins, two draws, and 13 losses. His last four fight, five fights, sorry, at max. A point lost to Yim 
Sukon from Cambodia. A first round KO win of a Dokden Toto Jan Sanchai, followed by a second round KO loss to Yotun and Sitmon Chai in a former previous uh, four man oh. tournament. That was the fastest one on record. It was a fast one. I don't know if it was the fastest one on record, but it was a quick one. You'd have to get the Guinness Book of Records down from um, the, the whole the, tournament was the fastest one. Remember that one? I'm not sure it was the fastest one. I know what you're getting at. Okay. <laughs> he had a second round KO win over Benjamin Duelli from France and a points win over King Pet Payung Lukban Pam. Trains in fact of Sit Sang Prap, Jim in Roy Et, North East Thailand. He's trained by Jack Sam, Sit Sang Prap, and he's managed by Sang Prap, Sit Lung Bok. Oh! Yeah, no, that was a very quick tournament, that one. Yodnern, I think, was it Yodnern, Simon Chai? He won, I think, in the second round, the first round, and then the second round, I think. I'm sure we might we, have had a No, no, one. we had one. Remember, it was a Simon Chai yeah. fella in it, and it was... I'm not sure if he won. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did, he did. He won the tournament. And yeah, they yeah. were all first rounds, and then the, the semi-final was first round knockout, too. This one, it was a... Uh, bear with me. It was a second round KO. Last time, but it was early in the second round, if I remember right. I'm not nope. sure it's that tournament. We had one that was a, the basic, the whole tournament was like three minutes long. Yeah. Well, it could have been that one. I think so. I think your mind is slowly going. No, I'm always right, you know. Except for my 5 and 0. 4 and 0. <laughs> Southpaw versus Orthodox for this one. Bank tie in the Southpaw stance. Always very, very entertaining those four men. Uh, oh, never know quite know what's going to happen. Anything can happen. I'm obviously, you've picked a couple of winners, so anything Whoa. can happen. But, uh, I'll tell you what, nothing was more special than the mega tournament. Totally, uh, we won't go into too much detail about that. We did get lucky again there. I think the winner was just as surprised as you were. So, in our second semi final, Pepe Chai tour. In, who is my co-commentator's pick for this week's tournament? So we expect him maybe, possibly, quite possibly, to lose early on. He's Doubt facing Narong Chai War Division 11, who has a win over. So we're moving to the second round now. Chada Pet Saprida in the blue corner. Our first semi final fight tonight of our four man tournament in the red corner. Bang Tai Sik Sang Pra. For anyone that uh, tunes in regularly to Max, we have uh, our big show tomorrow night, 25 past, or 20 past six, the Max Muay Thai Ultimate Show. Normally seven Thai fighters up against fighters from all around the world. Some great fights on tomorrow's card as well. Yes. The, the main event I'm looking forward to. Who is the main event? I forgot. Uh, Ultra Virgin from Cambodia. Oh, yeah. Well, any Cambodia, any Thailand versus Cambodia. What? In the last few weeks, they have been something special. Yes. I mean, yes. There's been about two or three. <laughs> yes. In the last few weeks, they have just literally, I mean, kind of like a Darby match. The hook. Yeah, like a Darby match. What is a derby match? Explain to people listening. A derby match is when people come from the same area. Wow. <laughs> well done. The same town or the same, yeah. Oh. Well, you're right. This is a derby match. No, it's not. <laughs> they're from totally different parts of Thailand. But they're having a go, though. It's a very exciting fight. Shaping Angel here. Bang Thai yeah. coming in with some good elbows and punches. Solid kick from Tadar Pet there. Bang Thai's got to be careful because he was coming out hard in the first round as well. If he doesn't knock his opponent out, he might get. And we've got. You know, oh! Yeah. That's the thing here with these fights. You do need to be wary because it's not just three rounds. I mean, they go eight rounds some weeks. Yeah. And it's, it's not uncommon either. The way, the way the, the promoters match the fights here, they match them as close as they can. And uh, all the four fighters try and get them so it. So, if you get a draw after three rounds in a four-man, there's an extra round. So, the potential is always there for an eight-round tournament. The only way you can keep this pace up is if you're Numsatuk or Wasincha. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, there's no, those kind of unnatural or uh, grinded out or, or uh, pet your soul. Yes. Yeah. Those kind of guys, they can go on for 15 rounds and, uh, and you wonder if they're actually ever going to get tired. You get tired watching them more than... Uh, yeah. I truly think they're born like that. 
big kick from uh, Bank Tide. Look, Bank Tide, I think he's slowing down or he's maybe feeling it. Sharp left hand from him there. Good. Great pace to this fight. As you say, that concern's got to be there. They've got, still got another round after this one, and there's still a final waiting for the winner of this fight. Every week I try and figure out some sort of formula. I think maybe these guys can go a little harder because they do have that rest period. Yeah. Oh, well, I should say a longer rest period than the next uh, fighters. Yeah, they've got that one fight uh, in the second semi-finals on that they can be set back on recovery. Well, I don't know. I mean, does that affect you, though, that sitting down and then that cool down? If it's, if it's too long, you, you could have yeah. a reverse effect. Who knows? It's so tricky to figure out. I don't think they're... Like I said, unless you're one of those a, guys, a sports scientist on the coast. You do. We need and a sports I'm scientist. I'm definitely not a sports scientist. But we I'm need to figure... sure you're not. So. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> End of round two. Ooh. So here we go, coming into the second, third, sorry, third, potentially final round. Could have one more after this though, if there's a draw after this round. Bangtai Sitsang Pra in the red corner, Chaba Pet Saprida in the blue corner. I know these two are hoping there's not a, an extra round after this, because they've been really picking I'm the pace I'm hoping up. there is, because I've been enjoying this fight. I am as well, but the fans <laughs> always love it. Not too sure the fighters do. No. All the, all the managers. <laughs> no. <laughs> the manager's thinking, oh, well, I've got my cut out of that money. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that Bangkok came out with three left hands in a row? He's looked sharp with that left hand in the last round. He's definitely the more aggressive so far, Bangtai. Good knee there from him. Quick to get the knee off. His opponent looked like he had slightly the better position there in the clinch, but good elbow there from the blue corner. Oh! Bank tie pushing forward, very aggressive here. Oh, good low Sharp kick. low kick from Chanapet. Well, the fans are definitely getting their money's worth, that's for sure. This is a semi-final already. And the two gentlemen backstage oh. are screaming for them to kick to continue with this pace. Yeah. I know we always say that they're screaming, but they're probably actually sitting there yeah, they're trying they're to keep calm are. and like relax. They, they actually are. The deep there inside there's a little scream <laughs> or whine or moan even unless yes. it's her time like he probably is screaming back there when he was in shadow, the shadow box in <laughs> <screaming. laughs> yeah. oh both throw the rear kicks oh good kick from blue oh making that time they said Big kick Ooh. from back tie that time though. Getting the block up on the return. Oh, oh, oh good elbow. Just overreaching there a bit. Still got just under half a round to go here. Bank tie trying to make space in the clinch. A big elbow from him. Oh! Another sharp elbow from Bank tie Bank tie still the aggressor here. But he's putting so much effort in here, like you say, we've, we've said already. Yeah. If he does win, how much is he going to have left in the final? Good body kick from Bangkok. Sharp kick again there from the red corner. Oh my God, whichever one of these guys makes it out of this fight is going to be exhausted. Yeah, oh, they're gonna both gonna make it out. Whoever makes it out, the winner. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> the winner. <laughs> the body kick there from Ooh. the blue that Sharp, solid counter from Bangtai again. Bangtai looking good at the moment. He's looking gassed up here a bit. Oh! Chadapet, hard elbows coming in from Bangtai. Chadapet. Coming in with little hit, very little here. Big kick again from Bank Tire. What a fight! I think Tadapet's the more tired here, the gassed up here. Oh! Another solid kick from Bank Tire. There's the bell to end the final round.
great fight. And now that tense wait to see as we found a winner. We're going to get another round. จริงๆนะฮะคุณผู้ชมฮะก่อนจะไปฟังผลการตัดสินเราไปลุ้นกันดีกว่าว่ารางวัลของเราจะแตกหรือเปล่า Before we go to the judge's decision and now it's time for fight the prize สนับสนุนโดย Max m u a Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max m u a Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max m u a Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ Fighters for blue and red corner. Max Muay Thai Facebook page. มุมแดงและมุมน้ำเงินนะฮะรับไปเลยเงินละวัน Fighter คนละ5 0 0 0บาท Both boxers win a fighter prize of 5,000 baht each. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner. Red corner. คุณผู้ชมครับแบงค์ไทยสิทธิ์สั่งปราบจะได้เข้าไปในรอบชิงแชมป์ในคู่ที่7นะครับ and แบงค์ไทยสิทธิ์สั่งปราบ has become our first tournament finalist stay tuned we will find his opponent after the break and this is the champion Muay Thai In the second semi-final of the 62 kilogram tournament championship, we are going to be the champion of the tournament. The champion of Muay Thai Tattoos. We have a total of 62 kilograms. In the money, this guy comes from the city of Changsheng. He is a Thai War Division member. The head of Chaya Thom Ahan Otpon. Introducing our first challenger, he's fighting out of the blue corner, representing Shanxiang South Province, training at a broad division 11 gym, with professional records of 55 and 32 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nurong Shai, World Division Sibet. Shenzhou Province, training out of World Division 11 gym. Put your hands together for Nurong Shai, World Division Tibet. And in the red corner, this guy comes from the city of Uttaradit, Tangkat Khai Tho Khong In Gym. The head of Chaya Khut Sok Mueng Prayya Pichai. And his opponent in the red corner, representing Uttaradit Province. Training out of the Hong Kong in gym with professional records of 62 fight and 42 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pepe Shai the Hong Kong in. Beautiful, 
Moving on now to the second of our semi-final fights. <clears throat> Introducing first, in the blue corner, Narong Chai War Division 11. His real name Narong Chai Tim Tim from Chachen Sao, just to the uh, west of Pattaya, on the way back to Bangkok. 24 years of age, 169 centimeters tall. Had a total of 50 fights, 32 wins, one draw, 17 losses. His last two fights at max a points win over Chatapet Saprida, who uh, we saw in a losing out in the first semi-final, and a draw against Graham, Graham Stewart, sorry, from Canada. Trains and fights out of War Division 11 gym in Chachen Sao, where he's trained by Bunlai Saw Tanikun, and managed by Pantor Wan Chai Pong Aram and Pon Tri Warayut Kiao Wibun Pan. Pon Tri, or Lieutenant General. War Division 11 is the, uh, the Division 11 in the Royal Thai Army is the King's Guard, so a very, very elite division. Does he have an opponent? Yeah. Did you announce both yeah. gentlemen? <clears throat> There's another guy in the ring. What? Oh, good God, yeah. Forgot about him. You can just oh, start by oh, saying. I know, I know, oh, why, I know why you're so excited. You can have. Uh, Yes, in the blue corner, in the red corner, sorry, Pet Pichai To Kong In. Real name. His real name, Chen Wang Yat. Sorry for the interruptions from uh, my challenged friend on to my left. 26 years of age, 170 centimeters tall. He's from Utrevit in Northern Thailand. He's had 63 fights, 42 wins, five draws, 16. I was just excited to explain the whole army thing. I knew you did this on purpose. I no, knew I you. Didn't know. I just oh, wanted I'm to so explain waiting. the army thing. I was excited about that more than anything. Don't know why. That's <laughs> I get excited about very silly things. <laughs> He's a last three fights for uh, the red corner. Second round TKO win of a Tom Sack Sit Pardet. A points win of a Pet Tear Sojo Toy Pad Royal. And a second round TKO win of a Wallawood Cinnamon Con Gym. Ooh, like Trains wins. and fights out of Tor Kong in Gym in Ultra of Dick, where he's trained by Kok Gao, Tor Surya, and he's managed by Dark Tamburut, San Tipong Kong in. You really did that on purpose. I, I know I you did. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> you wanted to steal my thunder. I just got carried away with explaining about the Army Division 11, the King's Guard, very, very elite Army unit. I would imagine the Narong Chai is a serving soldier as well. So they would be based in Bang Bangkok. No, there's a, there's, a, there's a base in Chacham Tower as well. There is a there is a big base in uh, Bangkok, not far from the uh, from the uh, New Lumpini Stadium. So would they be the equivalent of like the? The SAS, the, the, the not the really so super, much. Super. Oh, oh my goodness! Fast it was a slip, kick. and he's getting a count. Oh no! Looking wobbly as well. Oh, oh, I jinxed it. Oh, <laughs> oh dear! If anyone was actually could see my face on there, they'd see the biggest grin ever. But unfortunately, you just have to. Goodness! Sharp body kick there from. Oh, ah. not on Chai as well. No, they're not the. I wouldn't say there's like a the special force, that's probably more like Pekin Dar, you know. Oh, really? Special warfare, but it's uh, the King's Guard, they, they protect the King, so, you know, they're, they're going to be serious. very, very tough, yeah. a very strong uh, regiment. Yes. Pushing forward here, Pepe Chai. Narong Chai tying him up in the clinch now. Narong Chai is really good boxing. He's a trainer, Bunlai Saw Tanikun, also from Chachung Sao, originally. Former. That's why. Twin brothers, well, Bunlai and Bun Long. They have a twin brother, Bun Long, as well, sadly passed away a few years ago. Bunlai, a two time Lumpini champion from the Golden Air, very, very special that's fighter in his Bun Lai. time. Yeah. And you said the brother was maybe a little better? Maybe not. His brother had a bit of a problem with his leg. He had a car accident, a motorbike accident when he was young. It's still very good level. Yeah. Still fought, but, but Bunlai was the, probably the better of the two. Is it one of, one of those things where if he didn't have the accident, he could have been? Maybe, yeah. He was also, uh, his brother was very dangerous with the elbow. Really? He, he one of those, uh, I think he had a, had a nickname, like a thousand uh, stitch elbows. Or... Oh, that's good. End of round one. Second round now. Long Chai War Division 11 scoring a knockdown in the opening round with a fast high kick over his opponent there. Pet Pichai Tokong in. The man with a curse around his neck. Well, Narong Chai also got a warning. 
did get a warning, but there's that high kick right across the back of the neck there. Mm, did you like seeing that one? Oh, no, it, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to take the mickey, whatever happens, you know. But um, obviously, I, I, I just like to stay neutral in these tournaments, enjoy the fights, and uh, and then laugh if you get it wrong. Well, some of us actually have a reputation up holding the gambling pit, so. <laughs> <laughs> Into the clinch now. Now, Long Chai coming in low with a lot there in the clinch. Good knee from his opponent now. Still not over yet. Knockdowns, as you know, they don't count so much here at Max as, as maybe in the main stadiums. But it is a little unnerving here when you've seen the Long Chai just doing very well inside and outside. Yeah. Getting that low lock there, making it hard oh. for his opponent. Oh, there. goodness. to do here oh the red corner good body kick there from Narong Chai sharp elbow making uh Pepe Chai miss there and given the status of the soldier he's not going to be lacking in cardio you wouldn't think so good elbow there sharp elbow back from Pepe Chai now Still, still a long way to go yet, still only halfway through the fight. The body Good shot there from the red corner. He's going back a lot here as well. He could get another warning if he's not careful here. Quite possibly. No wrong tight. Good turns in the clinch from him there. Which is actually surprising as to why he would be moving back. Sometimes it's psychological. You, when you get that knockdown, you kind of think uh, you're ahead now. You, oh. don't have, you don't have to push forward. And Very true. He, he very well could. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You were right. I'm always right. Except for the picks. <laughs> this is going to hurt. I think I'll be wrong if I don't pick. Well, you're trying to pick against me. <laughs> <laughs> Into the clinch here. Good fast Ooh. kick. From, oh, hard elbow now. Another good elbow there from the blue corner. Oh. Good Ooh. knee now from Pichichai. Now it's picking up. That second warning's put him in a precarious position. Do you have a one more warning here, here, Max? If you get three warnings for going back, you lose a point as well. That would totally nullify the, the knockdown. Would you say it's not is, is nullified now or not not yet? Maybe not quite yet, but if he keeps going back, who knows? Oh, oh my goodness! He doesn't oh, need to go back what? anymore. That oh, is gonna be it. Whoa! Oh, exactly oh. the same shot. And on that note, oh. normal, normal service has been resumed. <laughs> what a finish though. Oh. We, we, we show, he showed that shot in the first semi-final. Oh. In the first round, I should say. And he just showed it again there in style. Oh! oh. We did, you did enjoy a couple of weeks where you managed to get lucky. The promoter told me to pick him. <laughs> I'll point him out in a minute. <laughs> no! I'm sorry, but the answer is yes. What a beautiful kick. It was. There we go. Oh. Same spot, the sweet spot. Just under the ear, behind the neck. Oh! Behind the head. Boom. You don't get up from shots like that when they land like that. No, there. clearly you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Thank goodness I picked the wrong child. Amazing. <laughs> Evidence will say otherwise. Just rewind the fight, the fight folks. Now, let's go to the next one. It's time for Fight the Prize. It's a good one. Max Moy Thai Facebook page. Page official my. Be tam parang kan 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 le pon kan tat sin tuk rai kan. Jaksana Max Moy Thai Stadium Pattaya. Rub chom kan thai thao sot Facebook live. Thang ban yai thai le pasan kuli. Kot like kot tit tam Max Moy Thai official day le wan ni. No prize. Max Moy Thai Facebook page. Game will be leading up. Ladies and gentlemen, after just two rounds of action, we have a winner by myself, Tenniko Nagyout, Blue Corner, Narong Shai, 
คุณผู้ชมครับนั่นลองชัยวอร์ดีวิชั่น11นะครับจะได้เข้าไปในรอบชิงแชมป์ในคู่ที่7นั่นเอง and นั่นลองชัยวอร์ดีวิชั่น has become our second tournament finalist stay tuned he will come back and fight with b a t h a i since s a n g p r a m in the final fight of the night and this is the champion Muay Thai จะกี่ยกก็ได้หมดแค่พกฟินล่าสนใจติดต่อสั่งซื้อได้ที่ 090-695-8899 หรือทุกช่องทางออนไลน์ของฟิลล่าได้แล้ววันนี้เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับแล้วตอนนี้นะครับเราได้คู่ชิงแชมป์แล้วได้แก่แบงค์ไทยสิทธิ์สังพรามจะเจอกับน่าลงชัยวอร์ดีวิชั่น11ทั้งคู่นะฮะจะไปซัดกันต่อในคู่ที่7นั่นเองเรามาดูกันต่อเลยดีกว่านะฮะในมวยคู่ที่3รู้ไหมกันน้ำหนัก57กิโลกร,รัมในมูลน้ำเงินคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดมหาสาวนครามสังกัดค่ายเพชรจินดาเจียมเจ้าของฉายาขุนศอกว่าปีปฐุมครับ Moving on to our third fight tonight at 57 kilograms. Introducing our blue corner, he came from Mahasarakam Province, training at a pet jinda gym. With professional records of 54 fights and 36 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kung Fa Pet Jinda. Welcome to your blue corner. He come from Mahasarakam Province, training at the Petjinda Gym. Put your hands together for Kung Fa Petjinda. And in the front of the red corner, this one is from the city of Rampur, the Great Muay Thai Tattoo. Rumi has a weight of 57 kg. And his opponent in the rain corner, he's, he is the 57 kg champion representing Lampoon Province, training out of Saad Nopakao Gym with professional records of 57 fights and 41 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Blue Fruit with Four Man. And entering the ring right now is the 57 kilogram champion representing Lampoon Province. Let's hear it for Lou Flup with four man. So now moving on now to our first of our four ultimate fights. Now this, these four fights will give the uh, the two semi finalists a chance to recover from their exertions. They're saying that though. Looking at the, the, the fights we have here on our semi-finals, every chance they might not get that long to recover because I, I can see a few knockouts coming here. Yes. Anyway, in the blue corner, hopefully I haven't jinxed it now. Well, I haven't jinxed it the fighters out the back. They'll get a long rest. But In the blue corner now, we have Kong Fa Pechinda. His real name, Sipto Chakra Sangwato. Another army uh, base, Pechinda. Sipto is his rank in the army, so he's like a sergeant major oh. or staff sergeant. He's from Mahasarakam in the northeast of Thailand, 25 years of age, 167 centimeters tall. He's had 54 fights, 36 wins, two draws, 16 losses. His last four fights at max, a points loss to Bun Lai Chat Chai Noi Muay Thai, a third round KO loss to Lurching Jai Pui Four Man, a first round KO win of a Jonathan. See there from Sweden and a second round TKO loss to Long Nak from Cambodia. Trains and fights at a Pechindar gym 
in uh, Lotbury, where he's trained by Tom Pechinda and he's managed by Pantek or Colonel Sakta Pechinda. Another one of my friends, not yours. <coughs> he's an opponent in the red corner, Luke Fluke Pui Fulman. His real name, Warakon Kampu, comes from Lampun, Northern Thailand, 21 years of age. He's had a, he's 166 centimetres tall, had 57 fights, 41 wins, two draws, 14 losses. His last five fights at max. A points win of a Sayam Petnapachai, followed by a points win of a Bunlai Chatai Noi Muay Thai in a champion four-man. Points win of a Pet Satit Sojo Toy Padwell. A points win of a Salvatore Signorini from Italy. And a third round TKO lost, uh, Wissan Mut from Cambodia. Trenton fights at a Saw Nopakao Jim in Lampang. Where he's trained by Robert Sip Satapon. What a nice name he's got. And he's managed by Kajon. Kiao Pipop and Padang Pui Fulman. I was going to say, you might want to hurry up and finish that one because these guys were throwing some hard shots oh, there early hard on. elbow there from Luke Fluke. Yeah, both tough these two. They're both quite aggressive, both happy to trade shots. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Stinging kick there, but just losing his balance at the same time. Fast high kick there from... Kong Fa. So say Pechinda, another army. Yeah, this is probably a bit, this would be more like a special, but the army special warfare. So this unit. would be like the SAS sort of thing. Oh, I'm not sure. I would think it's probably fairly uh, special warfare. They got the. Uh, so it's super tough. Yeah. Well, Pechinda fighters, they tend to, they are very aggressive normally. Yeah. Normally, uh, what you see is what you get with them. I keep forgetting the new entry we have here. It's another military base, but it's located in Chonbury. So these guys are good. We've seen three possibly, of them possibly. so far. I forget the name. Still feeding their way in a bit here. So there's been some heavy shots coming from both here. Particularly from uh, Kong Fa, I mean, very aggressive wow. so far. Oh, good elbow attempt. Sharp Red. elbow from Luke Fluke, good knee from him there. Kong Fa happy to return the favour though. For me, Luke Fox, his shots just seem to have that much more impact for some yeah. reason. Huh? He's picking his shots a little bit better, and he? he's, he's yeah. quite as wild and rushing in as much as Kong Far. When they let, yeah, they just have a third to him. That kick there, when he oh. ran in with that kick. Got a lot of leverage behind it. Going in with the elbow there. Yeah, I think you were right. I'd be surprised if this one goes the distance. End of round one. Here we go, coming into the second round now. Kong Fa pitching there in the blue corner. His opponent in the red corner, Luke Fluke, boy four man. Hey, well, Luke, both were landing good shots, but Luke Fluke's shots were just that bit harder, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a high kick there, though. Yeah, he did well to shoot that off. It just, like I said, he, he, he picks his shots out a little bit better, Luke Fluke. He's not quite as wild to rush in with them. Oh. So far, all we've seen is his opponent landing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We need to have a word with whoever sorts these uh, replays <laughs> out. Try to get on the same page as us. As with good body kick there from Luke Fluke. Now Kung Fu stepped it up a little bit in terms of power. Putting some hard elbows in Luke Fluke, marching oh. it on. Luke Fluke turned it up as well here in terms of aggression. Take down from him. Oh. Oh, the elbow's oh. Good knee there from Luke Fluke. Again. Ooh. Sharp knee from Luke Fluke there. Oh. 
Nice body kick from the blue corner. Sharp elbow getting there from Pongfar. Into the clinch. Good take oh. down there from Luke Fruit. A bit cheeky there, falling on top of his opponent. You and the crowd shouting at there, shouting their disapproval. I think that was a very sporting. But that was kind of payback because a moment ago, yeah. Pongfar did the same to him, maybe. Could well be. Oh, good. I don't know what happened there. He's going to say good balance. Good balance. Yeah. Yeah. Good balance for the blue corner. For the yeah. Look at the redness on the nose of uh, Luke Fruit there. That's a nick or a swelling. Could be oh. through the middle there. Pongfar trying to get the elbows in. Good knees from Pongfar here. Big elbow there. Luke Fruit standing his ground hold, coming back in with his own big elbows here. Someone's getting cut in this fight. So far, we predicted a knockout and the cut. We haven't seen either yet, but no, who knows? <laughs> oh! Good knee from Luke Fluke. Yeah, great little step back there as well to avoid that following knee. Good hard right hand off from his opponent now. Tell you what, oh, I'm... big barrage of knees there from Luke Fluke. I don't think we're going to get a warning in this fight. Very surprised, and they're going to start introducing warnings for going forward. <laughs> oh, big elbows Ooh. again here from Luke Fluke. Taking another hard one back, though. Like well, you said, oh, I'm really am surprised there's no cuts there. Oh, wow, huge elbows here from Luke This Fluke. is amazing. Luke Fluke. Oh, big elbows now from. Oh. The blue corner is swinging elbow for elbow at the moment. This is incredible. Wow. wow. End of round two. Well, here we go. Coming into the third and final round now. Of what has been an enthralling matchup this one? <laughs> Luke Fluke Poi Foreman in the red corner. In the last round there, just trading elbows with uh, Kong Far Pechinda. Neither looking to give an inch, neither looking to back down. He just went toe to toe with hard elbows. How is it that blood everywhere? Yeah, I'm oh, surprised. They both got skin like leather, I think. Yeah. Here we go, final round. Now, this type of fight, I wish there was a fourth round. Yeah. As we said it before, it? it should be mandatory if it's a draw yes. after three, if it's that close. If it's something like this, we should be gifted a yes. around. Oh, wow. I mean, just what a pace. This is amazing. I mean, it's not surprising for the Petchendorf fighter. They're always in great shape, yeah. but I mean... Yeah, this is just incredible for, for any fighter, really, to keep this pace up. A lot of people think a three-round fight has got to be easier than a fifth round, but when they're going fast, right from the opening bell like this, oh. and they're keeping it up. Is there a cut now on the eye of Confa? Oh, yes! Good kick there from Con from uh, Luke Fook, sorry. Doesn't look like it's bleeding much if it is a cut. Good shot kick in there. Oh, oh, very nice. That is what you call a perfectly timed kick. Very nice. Kung Pao had him in the headlock and didn't want to let him up right away. <laughs> Oh, wow. There might not be any cuts, but they're going to have headaches when this fight's over. <laughs> Sharp push kick from Kong Far. It's just a nick, isn't it, on the, on yeah. the cheekbone there? Not really bleeding at all. It's definitely cut, but... Oh, oh. big shot from Luke Fluke there. Sharp elbows again from both. This pace has been, you're oh. starting to see the pace affecting them now. I mean, this is just a minute to go. Surprising it took this long for them to be effective. 
I'm pushing for a tournament for 57 kg with both of these guys in it. Yeah. Oh. Well, you, you won't be able to have both these guys in it because uh, the red corner is already a champion. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. There's an, oh, there's a cut on the lip of Kung Fai. Fair kick from Kong Fa now. Luke Fu, a good position there in the clinch. Another elbow from him. Final seconds of the fight now. I don't think anyone could deny him a little bit of a breather there. Yeah. End of round three. What a fight. Wow. That was awesome. I think it's uh, fair to say, or oh, fair to call both of these two warriors. Yes. Oh, I really wish for uh, another round. <laughs> we should be allowed to have like an extra, a number four kind of flag. We should all hold it up, to say an extra round. <laughs> I'll put that to the boss next time until I see him. I'm not sure he'll. I think it's a great idea. That. Fan participation. He might sack you. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go to the judges' decision, let's check out the final prize. สนับสนุนโดย Max m o a i Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max m o a i Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max m o a i Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ No prize. Max Muay Thai Facebook page. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, for the winner, Ro Samba. We will play in the next round. We will play in the next round. We will play in the next round. Don't change the channel. We will come back after the break. This is the champion Muay Thai. หลายใจไม่เคยชอบแต่ถ้าหลายรอบต้องฟินล่าสนใจติดต่อสั่งซื้อได้ที่090695899หรือทุกช่องทางออนไลน์ของฟินล่าได้แล้ววันนี้ Welcome back to the c h a m p i o n Muay Thai Show and I will fall b o u n c i n at 58.5 kilograms คู่ที่สี่ในค่ำคืนนี้ฮะกับรายการ The Champion มวยไทยตัดเชื่อรูปมีเกิดน้ำหนัก 58.5 กิโลกรัมในมูลน้ำเงินครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดร้อยเอ็ดสังกัดคายสอโชคมีชัยเจียมเจ้าของฉายาพลานสอกร้อยเข็มครับ Interesting word blue c o n n o r he come from r i o n Province training out of Seoul s h o w me s h a i j i m in Bangkok with professional records of 59 fights and 43 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kwan p i s h i t Nayok e t e s b a l i n f a He come from Bryant Province, training out of s o u s h o p e e s h a i j i m in Bangkok. 59 p r o f e s s i o n a l fights and 43 p r o f e s s i o n a l victories. Let's hear for k w a n p i s h i t Nayok e t e s b a l i n f a และในช่วงนี้มุมแดงครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดประจวบคีรีขันธ์ครับสังกัดไทยนุปราณบุรีเจียมเจ้าของฉายาซ้ายเทพบุตรครับ And he's supported in the red corner. He comes from p r e s h o p Kikan Province, training out of New p r a n b u r i s h i m We p r o f e s s i o n a l records of 84 fights and 54 victories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome u d o m l e k k a m n a l i New p r a n b u r i And entering the ring right now is your red corner. He 
come from Plateau Grican province, training out of No Brambu region. Put your hands together for Udo Black, Kamali No Bramburi. So moving on to fight number four now, one of my favorite fighters here at Max in the red corner. Introducing first, so in the blue corner, Kwan Pichit Nayok E Tesaban Linfa, his real name Sun Ton Tong Lap. From Roy Et, Northeast Thailand, he's 34 years of age, 170 centimeters tall. He's had 59 fights, 43 wins, one draw, 15 losses. His last four fights at Max are points lost to Yotanong Pet Wang Lang, points lost to Kong Ken Lek Sip Polek, a points win of a King Star MTF Club Muay Thai, and a second round TKO loss to Akaladek Sit Sonti Dek. Trained in fights at a Saw Chok Mi Chai gym in Bangkok. He was trained by Hong Saw Chok Mi Chai and managed by Surakit Ming Muang and Apisit Kong Tung. His opponent in the red corner, Udom Lek Nuk Prambri. His real name, Sura Sit Lin Kaset. Comes from Pajup Kitikan, Southern Thailand, 27 years of age, 169 centimeters tall. He's had 84 fights, 54 wins, two draws, 28 losses. Last four fights of Max, a first round KO win of a Super Kane Chaw champion. A second round KO win of a Ton Saw Chukumpet. A points loss to Mahachon Ganorada Singh and a points win of a Haodong Nonglak Gung Pao. Trains and fights at a New Pranbury in Pajuk Kirikan, Southern Thailand. Trained by Singdam New Pranbury and he's managed by Udom. So Udom Chai and Nuke Pranbury. So he's one of my favorite fighters, Udom Lek. He's, he doesn't always get the win if he gets caught in there with a tough, really determined grind you down clincher. He's got am amazing skills. Southpaw, very, very good at letting the shots fly without telegraphing him at all. Very dangerous fighter when he's on form. Oh goodness, I remember what I'm like. His elbows. I like the change. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, facial recognition, I remember him now. <laughs> <laughs> so you need, with one word I'm going to say now, is what you need more of, research. I, well, I didn't stop the look, I, I kind of ran in, I didn't stop the look. <laughs> <laughs> Explosive shots out of nowhere, Ooh. Dominic, especially his punches and elbows. Opponent though, very experienced, very crafty, Quan Pichet. Won't be an easy fight for Udom Lek. Oh, a little low. He had that real war with uh, Monty and Sip Monchai, Udom Lek. I think he, yes. he, he got dropped, or he dropped Monty and got dropped himself, and then he managed to knock out Monty and, uh, shortly after. Oh, goodness, one I remember that one. Wars. Yeah. And then, of course, there was a knockout against the French fighter. I forget his name now. Um, I can see his face. But I just can't remember the name. The high kick. Stunning high kick knockout. Yeah. That was Udomlet? That was Udomlet, yeah. What was his name, the French fighter? It's going to be on my mind all night now. I'll remember it about 4 o'clock in the morning when I can't get to sleep. Remember what stable, not Petraman, was he? He was at Fairtex at the time. Ale Alexis Baratou. Yes. There you go. I can actually go to sleep tonight now. <laughs> Without laying there thinking, who was that? Who was that? <laughs> so that bit of a low blow there, maybe uh, and some damage yeah, to the uh, cup. Not damage to the cup, but it's probably obviously made it become loose. Obviously, their safety equipment, they're very high priorities, particularly that one item yes, of safety wear. Yes, yes, You can't expect the fighters to uh, carry on. Uh, That'll never be optional. <laughs> <laughs> we got to wonder, who does it favor? When the guys get a break like this, I always wonder, who does it favor? The, the guy in the ring or the guy outside the around his corner getting the advice? Yeah, well, they, they've got that little bit of an advantage there. While the guys are retying the, the groin guard, they can be just telling them what to do, you know. No, nah, that's true. Uh, Great sportsmanship. But if you've had a shot in that particular area, it can be a little bit debilitating. So, who knows? You might not be paying attention to what's being said. Yeah.
Very cagey customer himself here, uh, Pumpy Chip. Sharp low pitch from Udom Lek here. Pumpy Chip with some explosive punches there. Oh, oh that was beautiful, beautiful uppercut. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, beautiful uppercut and turn. That's the kind of shots Ooh. from Udom Lek that we've seen him uh, drop people with. Uh, just, they come out of nowhere, very hard for their opponent to read them. Oh. But he does struggle against a real strong grind it down clincher that doesn't give him any time. You can't give him space. If you give him no. any space, he'll make you look stupid. <laughs> There's a left hand going in into the clinch now. Oh, looking determined here, Grumpy Chip. Good elbow from Dom Luck. Locking up his opponent there. End of round one. Here we go, coming into the second round now. One pitch it, Nayok E to Saban, Lin Fa in the blue corner. Udomlek, Kamnan Lee, no primary in the red corner. Go for round number two. Looks a little bit bigger than the uh, the blue corner. Quite yeah. Good positioning here in the trying to come in and tie up. That might be a smart Ooh, leg in the clinch. Oh! As I said, this is the kind of style of the night. This is the kind of tactics you want to use against him. And I'm sure Quan Pitcher's corner knows that and probably told him that as well. Good knee there from Udomle. Oh, fast high kick there. Oh my goodness, he is explosive. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. Went for the high kick there, but overreaching. You can tell Quan Pitcher has fun inside there. Yeah, and he knows what he's doing as well, you know. You see, you see Udomlek trying to get some sneaky elbows in there, but he's, 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 he's defensively his sound. Big elbow attempt from in there. Hard punch back from Udomlek. Quan Pitcher's the type of fighter that, if you're not careful, he can throw you off the game because he'll sit there and wink yeah. at you. And he's kind of... Get in your head. Yeah. Like he does right there, he gets hit and then kind of smiles and throws his arms up. He's 34 years of age, so you know he's had a lot of fights. Oh, he's crafty. <laughs> so he kind of play, plays to the crowd. You have yeah. to be really disciplined when you're fighting him. Oh, oh shot Left hand there from Udom Lek. Oh! <laughs> Keeps putting his hands out like that, but, you know, if Udom Lek's mentally strong, he'll just ignore that and know he's hurting. Good kick, beautiful timing there. This is like an explosive chest match. Yes. Oh! That left hand of Udom Lek is getting dangerously close here. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh my goodness. Somersault. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That all remind, almost reminds me of uh, Sancho. Is it Kemi knocked out? Yes. And he spun him around and he landed on his head. Yes. And yes. knocked him out. That was amazing. In the tsunami relief uh, yeah. event, I believe, that was amazing. That whole car was amazing. I was there. Where are you? At the ringside taking pictures. Wow. I thought I'd throw that out there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not showing off. But that would be a special event to be at. Oh, it was. It was. Oh. oh, there's a cut there on the side of the head of Juan Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Our doctor here doesn't stop him too easily. It has to be a pretty nasty wound before he's going to call the fight off. Oh, 
Beautiful left hand again there. End of round two. So coming into the third and final round now, Kwan Pichit, Mayok Ed, Sesaban, Linfar in the blue corner, Udomlek, Kamanali, New Pranbury in the red corner. In a very, very enthralling fight, this one. Picking up a cut in that last round. Very close with that Ooh. elbow there, wasn't he? So here we go. Third and final round. I was just having a bit of a delay here while they find the gum shield of uh, Udomlek. Oh, there we go. You're definitely going to want that in this kind of fight. Yeah. You want your groin guard, you want your gum shield. Unless you're uh, a Rono that fights here, I don't think he cares about any of that nah. stuff. <laughs> well, back in the day, you know, they used to throw the gum shields away after about the first round. Oh, wow. And the referees wouldn't, wouldn't stop. They'd just let them go on with it, you know. Oh. They prefer to fight without. Oh. Oh. What? What happened? That was amazing. That was like WWE. That was awesome. Well, I was a little bit worried there because I, I, I was too. He was flying towards me there. <laughs> 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 Luckily, the rope's held. <laughs> oh, wow. We're seeing it all in this fight. Sharp left hand again for Ludom Lek. Sitting back at all. The body kick from Juan Pichin. Into the clinch now. Good positioning for Ludom Lek. Leaving that defense. Oh. Great defense there from him in the clinch. I'm telling you what, this card is shaping up to be one of the better cards, and uh, Saturday's always my favorite, and this has turned out to be one of the, the better ones we've seen in a while. One of the memorable ones. Yes. Yeah, they're always memorable, though. They you? are. Oh, dude, I'm coming in well there in the clinch. I don't know, but it's just something about this one way it's shaping up. This is awesome. Oh, oh the left beautiful. hand again from Udomlek. One pitch hit. Very determined still, though. Oh! Gonna get the elbow in there. They're both getting told off for grabbing on the ropes there. You're seen as uh, taking advantage of your opponent in Muay Thai. If you use the ropes like that, pull your arm over the ropes. Oh! Take down there, waiting for that kick to come in there. That cut looks like it's gotten a little bit longer, it looks by the looks of it. I think just a bit more blood coming out, maybe. Good turn for Udom Lek there. Maybe the pace finally catching up on. Bumpy shit here. 30 seconds to go. I'm not being a bit cheeky there, maybe holding on for a bit longer there, so get a bit of a break, wind the clock down. Almost at the end here, very close. Yeah, it's about to oh. the final round. Udomlek straight down to pay his respects there to his older opponent. What a performance he put on there, Guan Pichit. 34 yeah. years of age. Unbelievable. To fight that kind of pace and intensity uh, says something for his conditioning there, definitely. the judge's decision very shortly.
ลังยังไงเราอยากดูเดือดถึงสามยกครับช่วงนี้เราเป็นลุ้นระหว่างพิเศษกันก่อน Before we go to the judges decision let's check out the final prize สนับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ไฟเตอร์สฟอร์บลูแอนด์เรดคอร์เนอร์แม็กซ์มวยไทยเฟซบุ๊กเพจโชกันมันแบบนี้นะฮะมุมแดงและมุมน้ำเงินรับไปเลยเงินรางวัลไฟเตอร์คนละ5 0 0พันบาทบอสบอสวินเฟอร์ไพรส์ออฟ 5,000 บาทอีกอะไรเลดี้สันเจนต์แมนอัพราทีรอฟแอคชั่นฟอร์เดอร์วินเนอร์เรดคิวนอุดมเล็กกำนันลีนุปรานบุรีอย่าเพิ่งเปลี่ยนช่องนี้ไปไหนครับช่วงหน้านักโชคไทยจะมาทักกับนักโชคจากกัมพูชาน้องก้อนด้วยการกับ next award between Thailand and Cambodia this is the champion Muay Thai ฟินทั้งวันฟันทั้งคืนผลิตภัณฑ์เสริมอาหารสุภาพบุรุษฟินล่าสนใจติดต่อสั่งซื้อได้ที่090 695 8899หรือทุกช่องทางออนไลน์ของฟิลลาได้แล้ววันนี้ You are watching the Champion Muay Thai f o r Man Tournament live from Max Muay Thai Stadium in Thailand and now a moment that you have been waiting for the final fight of the 62 kg tournament championship who will be the champion let's find out เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับและตอนนี้ถึงเวลาที่คุณผู้ชมทุกท่านรอคอยแล้วนะครับเพราะวันนี้คือคู่ชิงแชมป์ของเรารูมิกระดับหนัก62กิโลกรัม and our first tournament finalist representing ชาชันเซา ladies and gentlemen let's hear it for นลงชัยวอร์เดวิชันWe've been waiting for the final of our four-man tournament tonight. Bang Tai Sit Sang Prab in the red corner. Na Dong Chai War Division 11 in the blue. Bang Tai winning on points. Hard fought fight as well, wasn't it? His semi-final yes. fight. Yes. A bit of a grueling match. His opponent, Na Dong Chai, winning by knockout in the second round. He scored a knockdown in the first round with a high kick. Yeah. And then the knockout in the second. So in theory, he Scott should. He, in theory, but how many times have we seen that? And it goes oh. the other way. You can never tell with these tournaments. You know, Bang Tai's got the more stamina. They've got the bigger set of lungs. Yeah. He did look a little bit like he was fading a little bit. The blue corner, he was getting pushed back. He got a warning yeah. going back before he pulled out that beautiful high kick. In a fight like this, it also comes down to that fifty thousand baht is a big yeah, motivator. That's a lot of money. <laughs> That'll put some extra air in the gas tank. <laughs> so here we go, round number one. Both southpaw in this one. To make things interesting. Sometimes, if you're a southpaw and you're used to fighting orthodox fight, when you yeah. face another guy the same side, it can it can confuse them a little bit. Oh, 
I always thought that, but here in Thailand, you see so many left-handers that yeah. south balls is probably they're, normal. They're, a lot of them are converted south balls here. Then it's that high kick attempt there already from the wrong oh. side. Good takedown from him. Is there a reason they do that? I'm not. It's because it's hard, so hard to fight south ball, oh. isn't it? There's a lot of fighters. They'll look at them and they'll yeah, they'll do good and they'll they'll train them from like you know young to, <laughs> to fight at south ball. They're, they're naturally right-handed. A lot of them. I was gonna say all the all the left-handers in the world come to Thailand. I'm just like it's. <laughs> Oh! Fast. Barrage of shots from. Also, who has right. youth, who has youth on their side? I forget the ages. I'm pretty sure it's a red corner. So we can check though. I have the information in front of me. That that, yeah, that 18 plays years of age, Bang Tai. Ooh, that plays a factor. Long Tai, 24. So he's six years older than the blue corner. Uh, 24. You still still got the gas tanks so. off. But 18, nah. 24. He's also a serving soldier as well. So yeah. Oh, that was beautiful! Again. Oh my goodness! Well, we definitely know what his favorite weapon is here. Oh, wow! Bang Tai come alive now. Some big elbows from him. And this is just like the fight he thought he had in the first yeah. round. Again! Oh! He can't afford, Bang Tai can't afford to drop that left hand. I mean, that kick comes out of nowhere oh, like that! <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! He cannot. He, you see the corner screaming at Bang Tai. Keep that oh. right hand, the glued to your head, because he's fighting on heart here. And sometimes that, that that can be fatal against a guy with that kind of precision with that kick. That is a thing of beauty. Wow! Good take down there from the blue corner. The referee telling him not to try and trip there. Oh, oh it could be coming! All the time he's looking for it. There again. Mm -hmm. Big elbows from Bang Tai though. They don't expect anything from this. I don't think anything could happen here. Oh yeah. Oh! 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 Beautiful oh! elbow. Bang Tai with the elbows. Hard elbow through the guard there. And we have a knockdown already. End of round one, saved by the bell. What a round. Here we go, coming into the second round of our tournament. <laughs> Bang Tai sits and crap. Got the advantage now, the knockdown from the elbow there. His opponent. Now Long Chai War Division 11, who we said thought, thought maybe had the easier ride, those high kicks getting him uh, the victory in the second round of his fight, but Bang Tai though, his elbows there, that rising elbow through the guard there. But you can't count out Long Chai, I mean, that high kick comes from well, nowhere. If Bang Tai gets a bit over hasty, over, over careless, his corner was screaming it before to keep the guard up. Good elbow there from the wrong side, but Bang Tai again trying to get those elbows in. He can't afford to drop that left, that right hand though. No. Because that high kick from the wrong side. Big punches now from the wrong side. Oh. Good elbow from him there. Bang Tai trying for the high kick. Oh! No! Big no. elbow! He, went, he landed with a left hand there, but the elbow crashing in, and we have another knockdown. Just him trying to get back into the fight, but his punch is out. But Bang Tai can't afford to be too rash coming in, looking for the knockdown here. Wild elbow back from the Long Chai there. Oh! That one a slip. He went for the big elbow himself there, trying with a high kick again. Oh! A second knockdown of the round. One more knockdown and the fight will be all over. Three knockdown rule. There's already been three knockdowns, but just two in this round. If he gets knocked down again here though, it will be all over. 50,000 baht here for Bang Tai if he can land it. Big elbow oh. again there. He's looking fragile here in the rock guy. Yeah. Oh! All over, we have a new champion, and it's oh. Bang Tai Sitsang Prap.
What a finish from him there. Three knockdowns in the second round. Wow. And indirectly, I win because he beat the guy that beat the guy that I picked. How does that work? I don't know, but I think I win. <laughs> indirectly, you've lost again. Normal service has been resumed. <laughs> oh, what a fight. What a fight, though. Oh. This tournament wow, ranks up there. This one definitely ranks up there. In terms of drama, excitement. Yeah. Ooh. Just, just couldn't deal with those elbows. He looked like he was coming back into the fight. With yeah. some hard punches before that that seemed to shake uh, Bank Tai a little bit. And we, I thought he would have had the harder go in the yeah, talking he about had the that. harder fight. He had a grueling wow. semi final, which went the distance. Ooh. It just goes to show if you, you, you got to, if you can give a hard shot, you've got to be able to take one back as yeah. well. And uh, Narong Chai, obviously, it's tough for fight the prize. สนับสนุนโดย Max m u a Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max m u a Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max m u a Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ No prize Max m u a Thai Facebook Page All right ladies and gentlemen after just two rounds of action We have the new 63 k g r a m Shaman by way of technical knockout Red Corner. Bantai Sit Sun Prop. เอาละครับและในโอกาสนี้นะฮะขอดิฉันคุณชนะทิพย์อินอุดมครับขึ้นมาบนเวทีนะครับลำดับถัดไปนะครับขอดิฉันคุณชาญชัยพึ่งเจียมนี่นะฮะท่านทั้งสองเป็นรองในสนามแม็กซ์มวยไทยและลำดับถัดไปที่ขาดไม่ได้เลยนะฮะขอดิฉันคุณธงทรงเพียรทรัพย์รองประธานบริษัทแม็กซ์มูลไฮมวยไฮจำกัดขึ้นมามอบรางวัลบนเวทีนะครับเอาละครับสำหรับรองชนะเลิศจะได้รับเงินรางวัล 30,000 บาทขอดิฉันคุณชนะทิพย์อินอุดมเป็นผู้มอบครับลำดับถัดไปครับขอดิฉันคุณชาญชัยพึ่งเจียมรองนายสนามแม็กซ์มวยไทยมอบเงินรางวัล 50,000 บาทให้กับผู้ชนะของเรามาถึงช่วงเวลาสำคัญครับขอเรียนเชิญคุณธงโซเมียนทรัพย์รองประธานบริษัทแม็กซ์มวยไทยคาดเก่งขัดในแชมเปี้ยนมวยไทยตัดเชิญรุ่นพิกัดน้ำหนัก62กิโลกรัมให้กับนักช่องในมุมแดงครับแบงค์ไทยสิทธิ์สังพรับเอาละครับสำหรับตอนนี้ทักสักครู่นิดเดียวฮะเดี๋ยวกลับมาติดตามกันต่อกับรายการเดอะแชมเปี้ยนมวยทอยฟัดเชือ